Wait for me, guys. Oh! Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. I feel like we had a jackpot. It's a spring. Okay, one more story. So they just pop right off. That, that doesn't look very good. Hey y'all, back in the kitchen, except, I mean, not really, cause it's not time to be in the kitchen yet. Still got a couple hours, but um, I was just looking at this. Check this out. I, um, I'm obviously raising a professional stacker, just, just like her mother. I'm just super proud that Austin washed all these dishes and put them there like that. <laughs> that, that just made me laugh. I, um, I am a habitual stacker, so when I wash dishes, I do not dry. I do not dry. It dry. I think it drives. Uh, oh, here comes Ups. Oh my goodness. FedEx just came. Now Ups is here. Um, I think it drives some of my family crazy because they come here and they want to dry, and I'm like, no, just leave it. We just let it air dry. But anyway, she did some cooking today, y'all. She made some French fries, and she saved these for her daddy. Is that the sweetest? They are delicious garlic butter french fries healthy no but delicious yes so that's okay all right let me go get this and then um regroup okay evidently it's afternoon nap time you tell everybody you went to the vet today went to the vet we got her some medicine she's on medicine and she's gonna get an oatmeal bath tonight some medicated or aloe oatmeal shampoo Everybody's gonna get back on their chewables for their fleas and ticks, which are out in full force now. Well, we don't have any fleas yet, but they're coming. And heartworms, so everybody's good to go. Got their shots, got their vaccines, and hopefully we're gonna get my girl feeling better. Poor baby. I, oh, I know you're there. I know, I see you. Y'all, it's hot. It's, um, it's in the 80s. It is. Can you tell? It's nice. Yeah. Um, it's in the 80s. It's humid. There's a chance of strong thunderstorms in a little while. So, Wesley's got most of the, half of the barn chores done. Austin and I are going to go finish. We're going to bring in the horses around supper time or so. But right now, I'm going to, um, I saw this thing where coffee grinds was a good, we call it fertilizer for acidic loving plants. Well, I have a gardenia that I planted last year that I so wanted to live and it's alive. It made it through the winter, but it's a little peaked. I don't know if that's the right word. It's a little yellow. So I'm going to put some of these grounds on it and, um, before it rains, everything's coming in though, y'all. Everything's in, look, my, um, oh yeah, hold on. These are blooming. I do know the name. Well, I did know the name. It starts with a D, I believe, but it's not coming to me, and I'm not even going to take the time to Google it. But they're coming up. Daylilies are up. Hostas just, like, blew up and out in the last few days. Hellebore's still good. i got to get some plants and some pots. I've got ferns coming in the mail tomorrow for the porch. Couldn't find them locally, really, that were big. I hope these are big. They look big. All right, so we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. I have no idea how much, but I'm assuming this might be good. This is three days worth of grounds. Yep, we drink just a little bit of coffee. All right, so we're gonna do that. I might give it a little drink of water. And <laughs> it's already growing. Growing again, big time, y'all. I gotta get some, um, oh, look, these are about to bloom, too, but that one, I need to move that. Oh, I know it bloomed. Look what bloomed just, like, three days ago. Isn't it beautiful? My snowball bush. I love this so much. That's another one back there I planted last year, but it's got a ways to go. It's so pretty. I wish it bloomed like that all summer. It doesn't last very long, but it's pretty while it does. Get out of there, Clara. All right, we are good. Wesley beat us to it. 
Gonna get these boys in. It is storming all around us right now, according to the radar. So we wanna get out of here, get them out, and get ourselves out before we have to deal with any lightning. <laughs> she loves the pony. Ride her pony and pony the pony. Then just come on his own. <laughs> but he's gonna stop and eat all the grass. Rip said he wants to do that too. Now let's go. I'd prefer not to be out here in the um, lightning. Rip has shut out a lot this week. Is he coming? Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. <laughs> go, Ben, go. <laughs> nope, I gotta stop. Nope, I'm going. Wait for me, guys. Hey guys, wait for me, guys. <laughs> okay, snug as a bug in a rug. Happy as a pig in poo. <laughs> Rockets. Rockets keeping an eye on Ben. Here it comes. It feels so good right now though, the breeze. Just getting in a quick walk before supper and before lightning. <laughs> okay, well here it comes. And Lawrence said, I think you better go put your truck under the shed. Cause Laney, News Laney, Weather Laney, <laughs> Laney Wilson, she was just um, evidently saying that there's possible hail coming. And we don't want to go through that again. <laughs> I've already had to, already had to deal with hail damage on this truck right after I got it two years ago. So, yes, we will, we will go get that situated. There's a little girl that wants to come. Get in there with the, what's it called? A pulling collar? Tri tripping collar. Tripping, tripping collar. Yeah. We have. We have tack strode from here to tomorrow, it seems like, everywhere. <laughs> All the riding and, and uh, traveling we've been doing. So anyway, it's getting dark. It's changed a little bit, hot now. Yeah. 45 minutes. Hmm. All right, we gotta pull his truck out. He said, pull his out. Oh, there's some lightning. Pull his out. Lightning. Lightning. What is light? Lightning. How should I? Lightning. Lightning. All right. Pull his out. Oh, there's pull mine. Out. Now, which one's he talking about? Oh, he's talking about that red truck. Yeah. Okay. Can you pull it out? Yes. Can you back it out? Okay. I guess we're going to find out here, aren't we? We're going to find out. Good. She did very good. You got it. Oh, don't hit the... Don't, don't hit the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, well. <laughs> um, I'd rather this one get, get beat up than mine. Well, it's coming down out there, y'all. You hear it? And we're, we're scared. We have scared dogs. It's all right. And we're, um, we're throwing down in here tonight. We are throwing down. And I'm afraid of put these too long on one side because I got busy. Woo! Got busy doing other stuff. Mm. Oh, let's just take a moment to appreciate these pretty tulips. $4.99 at Aldi. And I had to get them. Tulips are my favorite flower. And, um... Yeah, I'm not really a flower girl, you know. I don't ever ask for flowers, but I decided to buy myself some flowers, and I love them. They just make me happy, right? It was a three skillet night, y'all. I got them all greased. 
Oh, it always feels good to have every everybody cleaned and greased and ready for bed. Okay, supper was very good. I am in the throes now of doing my um, sourdough starter. I've been feeding it all day and I actually doubled it. So I, I, I had like two, how much did I have? I had like two cups of starter. So I halved it and then I fed both of them. So I'm gonna be able to give some starter to a friend and then um, I'm gonna be able to do two batches of dough tomorrow. That's the plan. Easter's coming up and I am taking sourdough rolls. <laughs> that's what, that's my contribution. That's what I was asked to bring. So I'm excited to do that. So hopefully that's gonna work out good. But I also wanna make some bread and I wanna make some cinnamon rolls. So if you didn't see my last video, you can see how I do all that in that video. I'm not gonna go through that again because it was very long and drawn out. So for those of you that watched and hung in there with me, you're the real MVP. Yes, you are. Um, <laughs> we've got a mess though. And we've also got a clean puppy. <laughs> Thanks to Austin. So while I was doing dishes and getting this stuff going, she, while I was washing dishes, she was washing this puppy. So she got a good bath in the bathtub and now she's gonna just lick herself to death. <laughs> what? Baby, 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 I know. Mommy, you don't understand. I don't like it. It's gonna make you feel better though. We're gonna have a new dog in a couple weeks, I hope. She's going on, um, what's it called? Apoquil. I think that's what a lot of people wanna, let's see, I'm looking at the tablet, Apoquil. So we're gonna hope that helps her. It's not a steroid. And she's, she's 11 years old, y'all. 11, 12. 11, she's 11. So, I just want her to, to feel good and as many days as she has left. We don't talk about that because she's going to live forever, right, Bonnie? 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 Going to live forever with Mommy? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we are at the, I'm going to say it wrong. The Great okay, say that again. The Great American Ranch and Trail Horse Sale. The Great American Ranch and Trail Horse Sale here in Lexington, Virginia at the Virginia Horse Center. We, um, so our trainer, Jim Isley, kind of got us, well, told us about this. He's announcing, he's, all our friends are here. And so we just, we came up for the day just to hang out and watch some horses be sold. We're not buying any horses but we're famous buying all the other things. Famous last words, we're not buying any horses. <laughs> <laughs> we're done with that. But when we were walking around, y'all know I need, well, I need a hat. I haven't got that yet, but I also need some chinks or chaps. I couldn't decide, but I've decided. <laughs> I found these. So, okay, tell everybody your name. Tell me your name again. Todd Fuquay. Todd Fuquay, and he's from Western Kentucky. Well, you can tell him where. Alamo, Kentucky. Alamo? Alamo. Alamo, not Alamo. Not That's Alamo, in Texas. Alamo. <laughs> Alamo, Kentucky. And so he made these chinks. He makes chinks, chaps. Breast collars, all kind of tack. All sorts of tack. We're taking a little bit of all of it home. <laughs> We've got like five things. Super excited though. Super nice folks. And come to find out, they actually follow us. We watch this channel. <laughs> That's there's another. This is Donna. Donna. And then... Randall. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. So they, they watch us. They knew our names. We walked in the booth. I mean, it's like, it's like cheers. Everybody <laughs> knows them. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're super excited to be here. I'm excited. These are so awesome. I'm going to put his, um, I know what, I'll put your information in the description. If anybody's want anything, he can custom, awesome. custom make chaps and chinks. And now he's got my size. So <laughs> I can, we can get more done and yeah, we're going to, what are we getting, Wes? Pulling collar? Is that what we Tri call it? Tripping collar. Tripping. I don't know why I keep saying that wrong. Tripping collar. Halter. Sissy got a phone holder that she's been, she, I have searched time low for one of those at Christmas and couldn't find one, so we got that. So, and then I ran into a friend from college, Jeff. So, <laughs> it's like a big, big happy reunion here. So, anyway, we're having fun. We're going to watch some horses sell. We're just going to watch horses sell here in a little bit. And, um, anyway, 
appreciate you. Very nice Thank to meet you. you. Good to meet y'all. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. I just went to the truck to drop off all of our all of our goodies. Oh my gosh, I feel like we hit a jackpot. So fun meeting those awesome folks and getting to um, getting to take home what they made, what they make, and what they sell, and can't wait to wear it. So anyway, kids and Lawrence are in here eating. We're gonna get a seat, and the sale starts in a little bit. Um, the very first thing for sale is a cow. A heifer. I think it's a heifer. A Brahma. That can be ridden. Okay, Austin's trying to call me. Anyway, this is going to be fun. Okay, I'm doing nothing but buying stuff today. <laughs> but not horses. <laughs> ah. Okay, tell me your name again. My name's Michaela. My channel is actually Wrangling M. Um, Wrangling M. Yeah. I just realized I was following her. I was, <laughs> I was like, show me how to tie these. I'm, I even sell some wild rides. Awesome. On my store. But I don't really know what to do with them. Yeah. But she makes these. Do. So I love finding people that like <laughs> make like small businesses. Yes, you know, very and, cool. and you're right here in Virginia. Girls, yep. Awesome. So I'll put her um I'll link to your is it just Instagram you have a website? Yep, too, I have an sure. Etsy where I sell just rags, but my Instagram, fashion, wild rags, everything there. Awesome. I'm gonna link to it. I'm getting two. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all dudded up next yes. weekend in my first show. We're just starting to show right for Chili with Jim Eisler. Awesome. So, you got the tag me. Yes. I will. Perfect. I will. All right. Thank awesome. <laughs> Four, five, five, five. Number one, number one, the belongs to him. Folks, he's a hundred percent. These Gipsy Dana's are bringing so much money. I bet you this thing goes for a lot. I don't even. You can't even see where it's going. It's got hair all in its face. Wait till it turns around. I'll show you. I told her it's like seventy. It's going to be about seventy two. This might be a hundred thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. Seventy two. Seventy thousand. Wow. Their trousers. Good job, number Percher on quarter house. 100% traffic, trail, and arena safe. Got my girl over there running. She's doing so good. She's not even getting to watch the sale, but she's working. Proud of her. Wesley's back there too, somewhere. I can't see him. Here's my boy. So after people bid, he takes them a paper and they sign it. I show you my other picture run up right to the here. office. Well, y'all, we're on our way home, and I'm I'm driving up the mountain, and we see this, and there just happened to be a turnout here, so I had to stop because oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, isn't it gorgeous? Ah. Oh. Today, river, and oh my goodness, it's a little rough out there. It's a little rough, and they've had a lot of rain because the ditches are full. Oh wow! Oh wow! You haven't seen it like that in a long time, have you, Cincy? Yeah, it's over the pier. It's up over the pier. Hopefully, we can get in the. Uh, hopefully, we can get in our draft. All right, we're here to open up the camper and see what we got and. Hope everything's good. Get it ready for the season. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting it to look quite like that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Um, Wendy is actually an understatement. An understatement. <laughs> oh well. This is spring. This is spring for you. Well, the wind is, is blowing about 100 miles an hour, seems like. I need one of those. What are those things called, Wes, that's, that tells you the an anemometer? 
anemometer. Anyway, the logs are working. That feels good. We're all set up. We're all cozy wozy. We're gonna go see Miss Ann, our neighbor. The kids are sitting in the dark. What are y'all doing? Are you Eating going to bed Doritos. at seven o'clock? Okay. Doritos. Eating Doritos, mm -hmm. chilling out. Okay. So anyway, we're good, y'all. Let me get in. Let me get in the natural, the natural light. It's not existing because it's going away. Because the sun's going down. Um, it's good to be back. It's good to be back down here. I sure hope it's not this windy tomorrow so we could actually maybe be outside a little bit. Because <laughs> you cannot be outside with this. It's, it's very windy. It doesn't matter. I don't care. We're going to we're gonna enjoy our time one way or the other. We've got one day. One day, then we're heading home. Because we've got... Uh, We've got a lot to do when we get back. We're prepping for show. Our first show is coming up. Our first war show. Excited, nervous, excited. Anyway, so um, it's just us for a day. But yeah, we're going to make the most of it. Surely this won't last another day. We'll see. We'll see what the... We'll, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Creek United Methodist Church. Just doing a little little tour. So our mom and dad were married. My grandparents are buried. We'll stop there on the way back, maybe. Well, the wind is still whipping today, so we decided to get in the truck and do a little sightseeing. Get a few. I'm out of coffee, y'all. That's not gonna work. Austin Road, that's right. This is Austin Road, named after your grandparents, your granddaddy. Granny and granddaddy Austin lived down here, and then his brother lived across the street, and his other brother lived close. And this is the old home place. My aunt's probably gonna get mad at me showing it because it's run down, but it is what it is. Lots of memories in that white farmhouse growing up. Spent a lot of time, time here growing up. Granddaddy was a potato farmer, uh, and then out there, he had, that's where he had his garden. This is just, you know, home garden, and, um, funny story. I told y'all this story about, uh, my granddad was legally blind. He would, um, he would get down on his hands and knees in front of the TV when there was something he really wanted to see, <laughs> um, but when I was young, I remember him saying, there's a story, this one time he was out in the garden and let's we'll see, how did it go? He said he saw um, bear tracks and I was like, if you're blind, how could you see bear tracks? It's kind of like um, selective hearing. I think sometimes he had selective sight. <laughs> anyway, that wasn't very funny, was it? It's funnier in my head. <laughs> I think I'm missing something, but I don't remember. Anyway, all right, we are gonna head left here on Highway 33. We're in Aurora, North Carolina. We're gonna head down to Hoboken, that's a fun name, and uh, go to the seafood market. It's probably not the right word, seafood house, whatever they call it, um, and see if we can get some fresh shrimp to take home. My dad just gave me that idea, and that was a good idea because we were looking for something to do. So, here we go. Dog or a deer? My granddad's other brother, uh, Uncle Marvin and Aunt GMA lived there and she had, they don't live there, um, they're, they're gone now, other people own it, but she had the most beautiful yard with her flowers, I remember that. She played piano, I remember that. I just remember going and I just saw lots of good memories, going and visiting and sitting. You know when people used to like, visit and talk and spend time with each other. It seems like a thing of the past, which is really sad, but anyway, lots of good memories down here. And there's a creek. There's creeks everywhere. The dog was like in the water, but it, you can still see it, and he was laying on it. The ditch. I call it a ditch, but it's like the oh, creek. One, two, three, four, the five. creeks are back up. There was up. like six of them, and one was a little baby like this big. <laughs> there's turtles all, all on the logs in the creek. Shrimp boat, the Birdie Two, no, the Birdie P. 
Birdie P. I just love shrimp boats. I just think they're the coolest. It's R.E. Mayo Seafood. I knew that. My memory fails me. Okay, super funny story. This this is a little, like, this is a little outhouse. And, um, hold on. Okay, one more story. So, this little, this little outhouse here. Last time we came here, you were little. But you remember coming? They were, it was probably, like, five years ago or something. Mm -hmm, no. Longer? Longer, no. Anyway, we came here and we saw this little pink outhouse. And, I mean, we really had to use the bathroom, I reckon. Yeah. Okay, so, we... <laughs> We went in there and I was like, I can't remember what the deal was. Is it having toilet paper? I don't know. But we used it. We made do with it. And then we go into, I mean, I'm thinking this is the only bathroom here. And then we go into the, the store there. We get t-shirts and everything. And realize there's there's like a real bathroom inside. This, one was just for look. this was just like a little novelty kind of thing. I don't even think you're really supposed to use it. But we used it. Why is that so funny? I hope somebody else is laughing. My kids are just not, they're just not, <laughs> they're not feeling it with me today. I'm, yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. Let's go see what they got. Got us three pounds of fresh shrimp. Oh, look at the water. Awesome blades. Look, it's so big. I'll go stand up there just to give a size comparison. Just to show how big it is. big it's big it's big we're way up high there's a different view of it we're up on this really big bridge which just amazes me it's out here in literally the middle of nowhere and they i remember when they built this it was a long time ago but how about that that is pretty cool okay we have got we went to the seafood market we got shrimp we went and ate shrimp for lunch we got shrimp burgers Sissy got a crab cake, and we're now we're on the waterfront in Oriental, and there's a lot of water. <laughs> it's quite a lot of rain, but it's so pretty. Love it here. Now we're going to find ice cream because just because because <laughs> we can. Isn't that pretty? Last time we were here, it was storming. I got a really cool picture here. It was stormy, but it's pretty today. This big thing. I'm trying to figure out, y'all. What are those? Can somebody tell us? I just, I just want to know what they are. Yeah, I'm zooming in on them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's how the other half lives. <laughs> People on these boats. It just trips me out. It's so cool. Miss Caden. Aren't they pretty? Let's walk down here. There's what? Where? Oh, she said there was two bald eagles, and I was looking for two bald eagles. I still don't see the bald eagles. Oh, on the front of that boat. Look. That's cool. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that boat rocking in the water. Yeah. And, now, and now ice cream at the bean. This is our stop every time we come here ice cream or coffee or something. Just ate our ice cream over there. Now we're going to wade back to the truck. <laughs> wade through the water. No. <laughs> Wait, these people are going to be coming. We've seen people go up and down here on their bikes through the water. Oh, I don't remember being like that. It was? Board. We just love to drive down the waterfront and look at all the pretty houses. <laughs> They're all different. Last time we were here it was storming, so at least we've got sunshine and blue skies today. It's actually beautiful. Look, look right here with the trees. So pretty. Okay. Fried seafood ice cream and now it's time to move oh nap i forgot to mention nap <laughs> she
She napped on the way home. A little bit. I just snapped in the camper. Let me tell you, it was amazing. So now it's time to move a little bit. Wesley's bike is not working. It's broke. He's been working on it. Try not to get run over. Yeah. He's been working on it, but it needs something else he can't do. So he didn't have a bike to bring. So Austin's riding her bike and he didn't want to walk. <laughs> so he's hanging out at the camper, but we're just gonna stretch our legs a little bit. It's not as windy right here. It's still windy on the river shore, but it's not terrible. It's better than it was, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And I know that tomorrow will be perfect because it's always perfect the day we have to leave. <laughs> but that's all right. We've made this a good little trip. Ain't no wind gonna keep us down. <laughs> I'm embarrassing him. Gonna fish. I'm what you say? He said I'm embarrassing myself. No, I'm not. I don't care. I'm too old to care anymore, buddy. We are um, just sitting out here. You probably can't even hear me because of the wind. Oh well. <laughs> just a little windy. Just a little chilly. They've all gone in and got coats. Kind of wish I had that blanket we just bought. That's what I need is that blanket. <laughs> so according to according to our neighbor Craig, trout. Trout are good right now, and um, also some striper, aka rockfish. I learned last night that rockfish and striper is the same thing, so that's exciting. It's a little, it's chilly, it is chilly, but the sun's shining. <laughs> Thank you. She got my blanket. We got this at the horse show this weekend, and I love it. It's, um, the only thing we didn't realize, it's child size, but it's super warm. And we're home, so we have to stop and see our, our ponies. <laughs> hey, Rippy. Hey, Rippy. You're standing here waiting. Are you ready to go somewhere? Hey, buddy. Missed you. Oh, who's dirty? Somebody is. Somebody's got cuckleberries all in their hair. All in their mane. Hello, lady. Have you been keeping the horses? Have you been keeping your horses good? It's warm here. It's warm here. Isn't it, buddy? <laughs> I'm scratching my neck. The flies are bad. Oh my gosh, you're dirty, cowboy. <laughs> Look at the mud on him. <laughs> but it's his heart. He needs a bath. Hank. Oh my gosh, your mommy's home. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at him, <laughs> look at him. Yeah, I know you missed your mommy. <laughs> okay, y'all, back on the farm, back in the kitchen, and I have 30 minutes to get supper ready before we have to go to youth group, before we have to go to town for church and grocery shopping and all those things. So, I just did this. I just took all the veggies I could find in the refrigerator and chopped them up, put some olive oil and some seasoning. I'm letting them roast. And then now, now for the really fun part, something that I've actually never done. And I'm having a hard time believing it because I'm almost 45. And I grew up eating seafood. I grew up spending time on the coast. But this will be the first time that I've ever taken raw shrimp. Oh, here comes Daddy and Sissy. Taking raw shrimp and taking the heads off and deveined them myself. So, my dad gave me a primer on the phone this morning. I do have a deveiner. Hopefully I can figure out how to use it. And he said that the heads just pop right off. So I bought these yesterday at the seafood market. He said they just, they just pop right off. Well, they do, they just pop right off. But that, that doesn't look very good. I don't, I don't know y'all. I don't know. This is probably not the best thing for Meredith to try to do in a short amount of time. So then we need to take this off. Oh, maybe it goes this way. Does it go? I feel like it goes this way. 
because then it would like pull it off, right? Oh my gosh. Some things are just not as easy as they're, they seem like they're gonna be or they sound like they should be. Oh, I know some of y'all out there are just cringing because I'm doing this wrong. Is that, is that right? I mean that I feel like that's pretty right. I feel like I feel like I feel like this is right. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I might not do all three pounds, but I'll at least get a pound or two. Okay. We're in the money. <laughs> so I was gonna put these on the pan as well. Um but I don't know that I'm gonna have time for all that. I might just saute these in the skillet. And then just mix it with the stuff. Maybe just stick it all the way down. Just stick it all the way down. I have a feeling there's like more art than science to this. And I um, definitely am not a shrimp popping, deveining artist. Yet. Not yet. Okay, that whole head came off. I think that's exactly what was supposed to happen. I think that's what was supposed to happen. What if I go on the bottom side? What does that do? This does does nothing. <laughs> nothing that we want it to do. Okay. I'm going to work on this. See what I can get done. I don't know. Why? This is not. This is, this is, I don't know. This is something. This is something. That's what it is. It's something. Golly. Okay, y'all. I eventually Googled it and figured it out. I know I was doing it backwards. It's supposed to just go along the go along the back. The way the thing was shaped. Makes a lot of sense, Marty. Anyway, so we got that. and That's pretty, isn't it? We got that. Here's hoping. Here's hoping it's edible. What's that? A couple, little, a couple little antennas or whatever they're called. 